I took a picture uh, with my cell phone and uh, sorry for the poor quality but it's a picture of a PC screen so look at that here look at this uh, <laughs> these cool creatures based on Cosmo hello everyone welcome to my channel I am Daniel we got the first update from DDL on January 28th on Vector, Cosmo and Butter Robot and also Overdrive. In 2021 we will see here what's going to happen. This was a webinar so I assisted and I also provided a few questions which were some of them were answered. Now I'm doing this video because I know guys that many of you do not attend the webinar simply because you are at work or you are at school and some of you do not do not get the invitation like if you don't have a Cosmo or a Vector and you're not in the DDL database then you don't get the invite right so I have a few important updates to give today so on the webinar there was uh, Jacob who is the CEO of uh, DDL there was Matt the Chief Marketing Officer or CMO and also Robbie He's obviously in engineering. I don't have his exact title, but he is the technical guy doing a lot of the, uh, the coding from what uh, I saw. So on Vector, they said that the escape pod will be released uh, soon. Now, there is one thing that you need to realize. The escape pod to work, you will need a Raspberry Pi, kind of as, as a local server for your Vector. So don't worry. Uh, first of all, they will have tutorials on their website on how to use Raspberry Pi with Vector. This was one of my questions, actually. And uh, they will offer discounts also uh, through vendors. They did not say which vendor, but you'll be able to have some kind of discount if you need to buy a Raspberry uh, Pi. So they're doing a lot of work on the escape pod, which is, I think, behind schedule, because if I remember correctly, I think like more than six months ago this was supposed to be released before christmas so in the fall of 2020 so they seem to be late with the escape pod also good news for some of you they will have a 1.6 firmware rollback option so i've seen from my comments that many of you have a problem since the upgrade to firmware 1.7 there will be a, an option to roll back to 1.6. During the call, they also showed the prototype of Vector 2.0. So there is one. And they showed also a prototype for the charger. So the good news is that both Cosmo and Vector will have the same charger. So that is excellent. They also said that delivery would be around May, uh, May 15, so mid-May. And they would aim for uh, biannual uh, firmware updates. They will also update the Vector app. They will have replacement cubes and threads available on their uh, websites. The user will be able to change the battery, which is not the case at the moment with Vector. Sorry, on that side, very difficult to change the battery in a Vector. Uh, and also, but this is a long term. A lot of people are asking about multi-language support. Like, for example, you live in South America, you need Spanish or Portuguese if you're in Brazil. DDL did say, yes, it's coming, but they said long-term goal. So I would not expect to see this in 2021, this um, language uh, support or multi-language support. For Cosmo, like I said, first of all, same charger as uh, Vector. The threads are currently available on the DDL website. So if you need to change threads or you want different colors, they are available as we speak. As I speak, you're not talking, I cannot hear you, on the DDL website. The replacement cubes will also come soon on their website. So they're not available, the cubes are not available at the moment. Delivery of uh, Cosmo, same as Vector, we're talking mid-May 2021. They will also update the app. That I cannot wait to see because I have said that for the past almost three years now. 
maybe a bit less for the newer app update from Enki, maybe like a year and a half or two years ago now. The app is very good for Cosmo. So I'm not sure what uh, DDL will do here to update the app. They will also have classroom uh, coding curriculum. I know that, uh, I think I should say, that they would like uh, schools to use more Cosmo for coding purposes, for teaching coding. So they will have classroom coding curriculum. And also they will integrate uh, Cosmo with Puzzlets. And I think this will be done through the app. So Puzzlets are just like educational uh, games uh, for or software for younger people. So they can integrate that with the Cosmo app. I think that's the idea. They also gave an update, believe it or not, on Butter Robot. <laughs> I don't have one. Um, and I think, I'm not sure if it was available at some point, but they will have Butter Robot or maybe a new one available mid May, same as Cosmo, same as Vector. And they showed the prototype on the, on the screen, but uh, it was really um, like a rough prototype made of 3D printed parts, which is fine. I mean, you don't want to do like expensive uh, molding uh, for a prototype, so they were using 3D printed parts. And, uh, and all they said basically was, uh, butter robot does more than just pass the butter. So I'm not sure what it does. They're not sure a lot on, uh, on, uh, on this on, uh, during the webinar. Also, Overdrive, uh, very, very uh, short update uh, or a quick update. They said that they would give an update later on, but in case you did not know, if you do have the Overdrive racetrack, you can, at the moment, send cars for repair to DDL. So they do offer a repair service. Now, let's go back to Cosmo for a second. During the webinar, they showed a picture of future cosmos like there was like a rover cosmo there was a flying cosmo almost like a drone i took a picture uh, with my cell phone and uh, sorry for the poor quality but it's a picture of a pc screen so look at that here look at this uh <laughs> these cool creatures based on cosmo that the ddl will probably release at some point in the uh, future so uh, this is it, guys, for the uh, the update. My two questions, actually, I did provide, uh, I think, four or five questions. Two, they answered. One was tutorial. For those of us who are not familiar with Raspberry Pi, uh, DDL will have a tutorial on their website on how to use, how to integrate Raspberry Pi with Vector with the, for the Escape Pod implementation. And also, they will have repair centers for Cosmo and uh, Vector robots. They did not uh, say where, like one in Europe, one in Asia, one in America, I'm not sure, but they will have repair centers where you can send your robot and they will fix it for you and ship it back to you. So this is the update. I think it's very interesting, partly because it's the first update of the year of 2021. And um, we needed a, an update and see what's going on. On the more technical side, Robbie did mention, and maybe some of you can understand that, but they had issues with the Bluetooth connection with Vector for the Raspberry implementation. So there was a thing here about, about Bluetooth from Vector that gave them some issues. So they're working on that. And um, I mean, for the implementation with Bluetooth with Raspberry Pi. And apparently the range will be 30 feet, like uh, most uh, Bluetooth devices in the house. So connecting uh, or being around in the house with your vector and your Raspberry Pi in a different room should not be a problem. So guys, as always, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. I'll try to answer as best as I can and as fast as I can. And as always, thank you for watching and see you next time. Goodbye, guys.